Hey guys, good morning. So here is a thing that is on my mind and it has to do with my business. And it reminded me of a coaching moment I had with one of my mentors. I just switched banks. Now I have banked with the same bank, it's a credit union, gosh, for probably 30 years from on my personal account. I opened a business account, I think six or seven years ago, and had no intentions of moving my personal account over. My husband and I had talked about it a few times, but you know how it is, you're established, you've got all of your automatic withdrawals coming out, you've got just everything going on in that bank. And it's just so much, it seems like so much work to make a change. So I'll share with you my, my banking story in a moment, but first I'm gonna switch back over to the mentoring moment when I was in corporate. I um, had a wonderful mentor, his name was John, and we were having coffee one morning and I was sharing with him that my boss seemed really frustrated with me and I had a fear around, you know, was she gonna try to fire me? Was she, um, you know, was she like gonna, I was a high performer, but used the fact that she was frustrated with me to exit me from the company. And he said something that I will never forget, and it is this. <laughs> you have to really piss someone off for them to work that hard to fire you. And I laughed, and he said, no, no, it's true. You're a leader, you know. Like, think about it, Carla. There's no performance issue. You know, like Maybe they just, you know, you don't connect, or, you know, they're whatever. Whatever it is that, that's frustrating you, and you, you, wish, you wish that, you know, they weren't there. He said, it takes so much work to go through all of the steps and do everything that you need to do in order to get rid of, of an employee. That people won't do it, it's too much work. So his advice was, you know, get back to work, do the things that you're doing well and let go of it because you're ruminating and nothing's gonna happen because it's too much work. Well, the bank, pissed me off. I have my, um, my business checks that I deposit and it's really strange. They have this weird policy because I called and talked to the, the, uh, one of the branch managers where the tellers can actually decide how long they hold your checks. So they would hold my business checks anywhere from, you know, two or three days up to 10 business days. That's a big difference for a small business owner. And on top of that, so I got really frustrated with that. And then on top of that, um, just, you know, the no standard process and they just didn't seem too concerned about my, what, what my needs were. So I decided to make the switch and it's been a lot of work. Um, and I'm, I'm just gotten everything done. I set up my new personal account. I'm very excited about it because now they link. It's one day to transfer funds instead of, you know, three to 10 business days. Um, it's right down the hill from where I live. I can do so much online. It was a great decision. I'm glad I made it. And I never would have done it if they hadn't really made me mad. So as you think about your own business and you think about, you know, the, the people you choose to work with, really consider how you can be as easy as you can be to work with. Take their considerations, you know, in, in mind and make sure that in your business, you're not the one that's pissing someone off because they will go find someone else to work with. I just did. And uh, I, I'm excited to have everything moved over to Chase. Um, but I think we forget that sometimes. So anyway, that's my moment for you this morning. And along with the switch over to a different bank, really think about the things in your business that are taking time or ways that you can consolidate and simplify. That's another reason I made the switch. You know, I used to have to drive farther when I had, um, you know, certain transactions to do. Again, doing things online wasn't as easy. There were some other things that were frustrating. So where you've got some frustrating, time-consuming things going on, how can you consolidate or make a change? It's just going to make your life simpler. All right, guys. Hope you have a great day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.